There we go. Nice. My first surf perch. Or uh, actually it's a striped perch. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't take it, it was first cast. <laughs> nice. Yeah, great. Just gotta get it up to my cooler. Do you want to take the cooler down? Um, I'll just leave it up there because it'll be hard to oh. take back up. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know how many fish I'm gonna catch. So. Nine or seven? Nine. Nine. Nine? Yes. Okay. I don't know if I'll take that many home. Maybe, maybe I'll give you what I don't, what I don't want. <laughs> okay. All right, gonna take these home and cook them up and do a catch and cook. Just using some raw shrimp here. Got my one out hook. The tide's coming in, so I don't think this is gonna be a good spot for too long. Oh, there we go. Yeah, nice. That one's a better one. Oh, wow. Hey, okay. bigger. It's a good spot right there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, really? Well, I'll check right now. It's uh, 14 and a half. Uh, okay. There we go. Pretty, really pretty fish. Oh shit. Got another one. Nice job. Finally, it took forever. <laughs> the next ones I'll give you. I think you're allowed to actually have uh, 12 or 15 of these. I was just looking at the regulations. Oh, I'll show you in one second. that I'm taking home the other one dropped in the rocks it's like right down in there no way I'm getting him out uh, so I'll probably lose this weight but I'm running out of weights from all the snags here but I got this weight and uh, I figured I'd just show it I got it from one of the guys on rough fish um, it's pretty sweet it's like two ounces doesn't get hung up very much but I'm sure I'm gonna lose it
Whoa. Whoa. Oh shit! Oh, he's on, he's on. Here, um... Okay, I got it. Wait, take it up to your bucket. Alright. There we go. I hold it. Oh. Well, oh, don't lose them down the rocks. <laughs> ah. Nice. Cool. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for Brett. So uh, Sh Shane and Ping, they brought me, they invited me out fishing. I only needed two, two perch to eat, so I'm gonna give all my other ones away. But this, this is a bread fish. We already caught many, and <laughs> give us this one. Very pretty. And we caught only a small one. I'll put their uh, channel in the description so you can go check out their channel. I got a measure. I don't think it's bigger than yours. No? This is probably a seven inch. Thirteen? Your one's even more. Well, the fish like this, one inch bigger, seems like a much longer. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go. Are they? It's a big one. <laughs> Oh no, he's just fighting hard. Thank you. Got like a six of them, like that size. Yeah, number six. Oh! <laughs> nice work. <laughs> oh, you better grab him if you want him. getting a bit big.
Okay, so that's all the fishing I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to go and cook them up now. It's like a two hour drive home and then I'll uh, cook up the fish. Ow! Lost everything else, just got the one hook. <laughs> and the fish. Do they have teeth, these guys? Oh yeah. yeah they got little it's a, teeth. It's a little teeth, it doesn't hurt you. There Good we job. go. Thank you. Yep. So they're not so pretty once they've been in the box for a few hours. But that's okay. I'm not. I want to eat them, not look at them. Nice little fillets. Got some bones that run along here. So I'll just have to cut those out. Okay, so I was talking to uh, Matt Favroch and he was saying how he was getting his fiance to blacken up some fish for him. And I realized I haven't had blackened fish in over a decade. So that made me want to make some blackened fish. So today I'm going to make that and I'm going to have a side of uh, mango salsa or spicy mango salsa because there's going to be some jalapenos in there. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how I make it. So that was about two mangoes cubed and close to half a red onion. That's about half a red pepper. This isn't really a recipe, just seeing how much of whatever I want in there. It's personal preference, really. I mean, I'm sure you can look up a recipe if you really want. Make sure to use the hand that you don't pee with when you're doing this. Or it's gonna burn real bad later on.
probably won't need all that cilantro, but just add it in there and mix it up. I'm just gonna use a bit of lime juice. Fresh if you got it. If not, just use this stuff. Just gotta cook up the fish now. All right, so I'm gonna take some butter and melt it. Just gonna do this in the microwave. Save some for cooking. Okay, I'm gonna pat down my fillets. Dry them off as much as you can. Okay, they're pretty dry. Now there's a couple ways of doing this. You can put the spice on right now or dip it in butter and then put the spice on. And I'm gonna do that. Okay, so here's the butter. Once I put the butter on there, I'm gonna put this Kinder's Callie's Blackened as my rub. I was thinking of making a rub from scratch, but you know, this is easy. It's not too bad. There's no uh, bad stuff in here, really. I'm gonna give it a shot. I tasted a bit and on my finger and it tastes pretty good. But first we need to dip these in butter. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take my cast iron skillet and I'm gonna put it on high. Uh, once this gets going, I'm going to have to put on my fan, so it's going to get pretty loud. And we'll just put a bit of olive oil on there. And then... So once this oil heats up, I'm going to throw on the butter and then actually that looks like it's heated up now. And if you're worried about safety, you should probably flip it the other way so that the fillets don't uh, splash you with hot oil and stuff. It only takes a couple minutes. Yeah, that's probably good. Looks pretty good. All right, there we go. They're all cooked up. So there we go. Got some broccoli slaw, wild rice with mushrooms, my mango salsa, and the blackened fish fillets. All right, time to dig in. Try a bit of this salsa with the fish. That tastes pretty nice. I was worried about over seasoning the fish, but actually um, it turned out pretty good. Um, I probably could have done with a little more actually, but uh, this tastes pretty nice.
it's uh, the fish is really nice. It's nice uh, flaky white meat, you know, similar to um, crappie really. The uh, only there's a little disappointment because I tried that spice out of the bottle and it tasted a bit spicy, but uh, didn't end up when I cooked it. When I cooked it, it didn't end up being as spicy as uh, I, when I tasted it straight. It's really nice, this fish, too, because it's got this really fine, crispy texture to it, and it's really nice. I mean, that. I mean, it's fried, it's basted in batter and then fried in batter again, so it's really hard not to like this unless you hate butter. So that was really good. No complaints here. I'm really full. And if you're looking for a healthy alternative to my last meal, this could be it. Or uh, maybe not. <clears throat> when we were out there, we also got some greenlings, so I'll be doing... My next video will be a catch and cook of those. Stay tuned.